Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to make delicious smashed potatoes that get super crispy and crunchy in the oven. We're gonna serve that with my version of a green goddess dressing. Let's begin. Fill a large pot with water and make sure to add ample salt to the water. Potatoes need a lot of salt and grab any kind of small potatoes you like or you can find and we're gonna add them to the water cold and we're gonna bring these up to a boil and let them cook until they're tender but not mushy. We're gonna make a bit of a spice rub for our potatoes. So in a bowl, I want you to combine some salt, garlic powder, some smoked paprika, pepper, and some chipotle flakes or chipotle chili powder. Chipotle adds delicious smokiness to these potatoes and it's one of my favorite ingredients. Let's whisk and set it aside. So you're getting a two for one today. We're gonna make a green goddess dressing, my version of it. And for a green goddess dressing, you basically need tons of herbs. Cilantro and parsley are my two favorites, but I also love to add some chives. I think it adds a wonderful balance of flavor. We also need our fat component, which is usually avocado and some other kind of fat in the dressing. And I love using raw cashews for this. If you don't have a high powered blender, a good idea is to boil the cashews for about 10 minutes, 12 minutes, just to soften them up slightly. But if you have a powerful blender, you can add them right in. I'm just gonna give my herbs a rough chop just to help my blender out a bit. Now we add everything into the blender. I'm adding my cashews. All those gorgeous fresh herbs. We need some salt, of course. some lemon juice. We're gonna add some water. Let's add some avocado. I'm adding two cloves of garlic in here. And now we just cream it up. You should have a delicious creamy dressing that you can use for dipping these potatoes or for a salad or anywhere else you'd like as a topping for a veggie bowl. It's so good. Now, although we're providing amounts, you always wanna taste and adjust the seasoning to your liking. Mmm, that's perfect. <laughs> we're ready to start smashing our potatoes once they're fork tender and you've drained them. And this is a great time to preheat your oven. We're preheating at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 218 Celsius. I've got some spray oil and I'm gonna add it to the largest pan that will fit in my oven. I'm also gonna add some to the bottom of a water glass. And I'm gonna start adding my potatoes in and carefully smashing them with the bottom of the glass. Now, depending on the types of potatoes you use, you might find a bit more resistance when you're smashing with the glass. So a trick to help you out is to cut a slit into the potato and then smash away. You wanna leave some room around the potatoes, so not overlapping them or overcrowding them so that they can get crispier faster. And you might need to do this in batches depending on the size of your pan and the size of your oven. And this is a great recipe to batch cook or make ahead of time if you're serving these at a party. And I'm gonna teach you how you can reheat them and recrisp them right before serving. It means you can make all of these batches in advance. We're gonna grab some of that spray oil. I'm using olive oil and add that there. And we're gonna start adding some of that lovely spice rub we made. Make sure they all get a little bit of love. We're gonna pop these in our preheated oven and roast for 30 minutes, then take them out, add an additional spray of oil to get that second recrisping in and pop it back in there for 25 to 30 more minutes. Oh, 
All you have to do now is add a final touch of seasoning with some salt and pepper. Serve them with your sauce. And I love to add a final touch of spice with some of those chipotle flakes, but this is optional. And you get to dig in. Let's try. That crunch <laughs> is so good. These are spicy, but they've got the cooling with that green goddess dressing. That's so good. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified when new videos are added. And make sure to go to brownwell.com where we have hundreds of videos, recipes, online courses, a membership program, and so much more ready for you to enjoy. I'll see you next time.